Well, today is Saturday, November the 18th, 2023. I'm back here at the stand that um, I've spent quite a bit of time hunting the past couple of weeks and uh, seen a lot of deer, just not the big bucks that I've been after. I can report that uh, the past couple of days, several of these bigger bucks have started showing back up on camera. So that gives me good hope for seeing them in daylight while I'm hunting. Um, the bad news is that the top target, the big 11 pointer, um, he came back night before last and broke off one of his tines, one of the bigger ones on his right side. And so that's unfortunate, but that's just how it goes. When it's during the rut, there's other bucks around. He's obviously a, a big, mature, dominant one, but there's still other big bucks around too. And even those little scrawny ones can put up a fight and do some damage, I'm sure. But I still wouldn't even think about passing up a deer like that if I get the shot opportunity even with a broken point or two. So hopefully he shows up today. Um, it's it's cool today, it's in the low 40s, got a good north wind, and the barometric pressure is rising, which is all good. Um, the only downside today is, uh, it seems that you know on this gas line they're working on, uh, I saw a neighbor posted on Facebook that, uh, that they, you know, this is the first day for them um, for the Thanksgiving break and uh, they started construction, started moving equipment around at 4 a.m. But I got out here and um, I'm parked out here now and I walked to the edge of the gas line and looked down at it. I can see a long ways. Don't see any lights down there. Don't hear anybody working. So hopefully they just got some of this equipment early, moved it out of the way, and they're on over the next ridge hundreds of yards away where it won't affect me. Um, but it, I do have a cell camera out here now. And the good news is that the deer pictures stopped coming in a little after 3.30 this morning. So... Hopefully the machinery pushed the deer um, out of the area where I'm going to hunt so I can get in there clean without spooking anything. Um, and then the hope is, you know, the sun will come up, the deer can see, see that there's no equipment out there, not hear anything moving around, and then they'll come out there to feed and give us a shot opportunity. At least that's, that's the hope. So I'm going to get my stuff together, get out here, and um, see what kind of adventure the Lord blesses us with today.
Well, it's the afternoon of November the 18th. I'm back at the gas line stand and just getting out here for the afternoon. It's about three o'clock or so. I have a little before three. Um, it looks like the construction guys have left. They've locked the gates and put all the equipment back where it was. So hopefully they'll be gone for the weekend. Probably not gonna hunt tomorrow. So uh, we'll make the most of our time tonight with uh, a little under three hours to hunt. So should be good. Saw some good activity this morning. Um, nothing showed up on a cell camera since then. So I'm hoping that they're all resting up and getting ready to move tonight. It's good seeing all this activity, but just waiting for the right one. All right, it's 3.12 and I'm all set up for the evening. So about two hours and 15 minutes of legal shooting time. It's uh, to the mid 60s, which is about the coolest high temperature we've had in a while. And the temperature's already starting to drop. Still got some high pressure. It's going down a little bit. We got some rain coming in in a couple days. But we should be good.
Well, that ended up being a, an exciting hunt, especially with the different predator animals out there. That was interesting. The coyote and the fox having the little standoff at that doe. That was that was pretty cool. Uh, I've got a lot of pictures of foxes and, and deer eating together, so I was a little bit surprised that the deer ran off whenever the fox came up. But the deer ended up uh, running off and blowing a little bit acting like it might have smelled me or something but i think what really happened is i think it just it was really just blowing at that fox um, because as soon as i got back to the truck i got down you know about 5 30 right at the end of legal shooting time and whenever i got back to the truck 10 minutes later there was a group of does already out there at the feeder that i just walked past so obviously i didn't spook too much out there or leave too much scent behind or anything um, which is good it's what you hope for when you're gun hunting so didn't mess anything up, it seems like. It's just uh, need to put in more time out there to wait on a big guy. I like that I've got the cell camera out there, though. Um, and I just found out while I was in the stand looking back through some old pictures that I got that uh, big 11-pointer on camera quite a few times last year. I just didn't realize it. I think he was a 10 or 11-pointer last year, so it's pretty cool. Got the same shape, um, frame, antlers, but it's obviously a lot more size this year, so... Uh, that's pretty cool that he's sticking around in that area and he's obviously a big old mature deer and uh ripe for the picking so uh, we'll see what happens next time we get out there i'm not sure when the next time will be it may be early monday morning but it's supposed to rain quite a bit then too so we'll see if it works out we may make something happen but if not then uh, we'll, we'll have some time this next week we got thanksgiving coming up bucks should be looking for more does pretty soon so um, if we get any time to get out there, uh, we'll show you what happens. But other than that, um, I'm just going to go back, look through some of this video footage, and uh, share it with some people. Uh, because once again, we went out and had another Arkansas adventure.